Hi, I'm Sully Witte, editor of the Moultrie News. We bring you a lot of stories about our waterfront gateways, but let me show you a piece of farmland that is undeveloped, unspoiled. It is for the first time open to the public. Let's go see Bowles Farm. Tucked away off Highway 41, you may have driven by it. A farm. Sure, there are horses, there's a cat, even a goat, and maybe a gamecock. But what makes it unique is the people who live there. The Bowles family established it in 1965. They have a long history of successful businesses in the Lowcountry, like Arby's on Shim Creek. It's been around for years. But unlike that waterfront spot, this little slice of heaven is in the country. <laughs> Jason Bowles, a third generation family member, is today's face of the farm. And my grandfather, who was uh, is originally from Florida, brought a long, line, a long tradition of uh, farming and culinary and equestrian skills to the low country of South Carolina back in the 60s along with my father and my, my uncle and it permeates the property. It's come a long way since being a sugarcane farm where they made syrup. It's still a working horse farm but now they do weddings and events. The buildings that are on this property were built with lumber milled from trees on this property by my father and my grandfather, Ronald Bull Sr. And the uh, ponds were dug by my father, uh, the roads cleared by my father, and I've been working out here with him since I was old enough to walk. Jason's dad, Tommy, on the left, he's managed it for years. Well, of course, it's the cane mill, and uh, the horse turned into cane mill, and, we, and he shoved cane in it, and it squeezes it, all the juice out into the barrel with a cheesecloth across the top of it to filter it. Then we carry all this bucket after bucket over to the syrup cooker and then we start cooking and making syrup. Everything you see here was refurbished from other buildings that no longer grace the farm. The buggy has been in the family for quite some time and we let brides or events use the buggy for different things. Uh, for instance, it can be used as a backdrop for a ceremony. It can be placed anywhere for the reception just as decoration. What's old is new again. The Bowles family is now looking to grow their wedding venue, and it's thriving. And it's very important to us to preserve this property, not only to stay in our family, but for this community, for the farm to stay here as an unspoiled, undeveloped piece of property, for the community to always be able to drive past and enjoy and now have access to. This rustic piece of property is now open to the public. If you're interested in more information, contact us at the Moultrie News or search it online at www.moultrienews.com. I'm Sully Witte. Thank you for watching.